Once again, my name is B Walk and welcome back to Copy Your Coin, where I show you how to copy your coin in the fastest growing market in world history. Let's get it. Today, I'm going to continue my altcoin series and speaking about XRP or also known as Ripple. And that's actually erroneous to some degree, and I'll get into that in a second. However, this is another coin that has been in the news as the last 24 to 48 hours. It's made a push run rally inflection point if you will higher and i'm going to talk about where it's going to go from here what the opportunities are and why you could consider putting your hard-earned dollars into this investment okay but before i get into that fam you already know i'm going to ask you to do three things i'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that alert button so that you know when fresh content is out from copy your coin okay all right so let's get into it in the beginning of the series I, the last video i did was on eos which is number 10 on this list uh but it, it, again i want to talk about ripple this is the top 10 that was labeled here by investopedia however you will see some of these names will change in any top 10 you look at however we're going to concentrate here on number five so ripple is a real-time global settlement network that offers instant certain and low-cost international payments Launched in 2012, Ripple enables banks to settle cross-border payments in real time with end-to-end -end transparency and at a lower cost. Ripple's consensus ledger, its method of confirmation, is unique in that it doesn't require mining. In this way, Ripple sets it up itself apart from Bitcoin and many other altcoins. Since Ripple's structure doesn't require mining, it reduces the usage of computing power and minimizes network latency. Ripple believes that distributed value is a powerful way to incentivize certain behaviors and thus currently plans to distribute XRP primarily through business development deals, incentives to liquidity providers who offer tighter spreads for payments, and selling XRP to institutional buyers interested in investing in XRP. So far, Ripple has, been, has seen success with this model. It remains one of the most enticing digital currencies among traditional financial institutions looking for ways to revolutionize cross-border payments. That's key. As of July 2018, Ripple has a market cap of $19.07 billion and a per token value of 48 cents, or really rounded right up to 49 cents. Now this is obviously in July, it was a few months ago, as we know that Ripple has actually gone higher than this now. and the market cap is higher. So I like to start as all as I always talk about with my analysis, big picture going small. So looking at coin market cap. And again, all the URLs will be down in the description. So don't worry about trying to follow them here. As you can see, the market cap right now is 222 billion. So we are moving fairly, I think a few days ago it was 204 billion. So really Ripple was instrumental in kind of reversing the, the downturn we had. And for a brief moment, Ripple XRP actually I'm sorry XRP was actually above Ethereum so it was number two on the list on here now obviously as a brief moment as you see they're going to trade places here and there because they're, they're not they're not far from market capping in terms of the numbers 24 billion versus 22 billion so they're going to I'm sure they're going to swap places swatch places and really it depends on who comes up with the better solution and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today so again as we're looking at ripple why ripple okay so let's let's do a little bit of technical analysis at first kind of give you a big big picture view and then we'll kind of go into the the more fundamental piece so here's my bitcoin chart again tradingview.com on my on my candle charts and i get like like we talked about before i told you that i was looking for i drew these lines in this this line right here this trend line and this trend line is kind of forming what i what i called a, a wedge and it's compressing as you can see this the, the prices are bouncing back and forth back and forth and we're trying to see which way is it going to spring it's compression like a spring between two two a vice grip and it's the spring is going to go up either up to this side or down to the downside i suspect it's going to go up but we'll see as we continue on looking at so you see the price action here bitcoin is pretty much looks like it's doing some consolidation trying to figure out which move is going to go next but it moved up healthy on this last day candle. And you can see here, we go to the XRP chart. This kind of gives you an example of where Ripple had been coming and then we have what we call a double bottom. So I actually saw this move right here. Okay, so that's what I initially bought my position. 
And as you see, it, it ran all the way up here, got all, as high as 80 cents. So I got my position in around 33, 34 cents, and it got up to 80 cents. Now, I'm not, I didn't sell anything because I'm thinking it's going to be a bigger turn, but you could have. Obviously, you doubled your money, <laughs> more than doubled your money. So that's, that's just, a, again, another plug for why it is important to look at technical analysis. Again, you see the curve right here. Now, I drew these curves to draw it out, but I could see it happening right here with this doji pattern and this pattern as well so as you see this line right here the two two lines i have i want to draw your attention to these two level lines this is what was resistance has now become support okay so this is the floor and this is the next resistance now you saw i tried to get it past this and it did but it is it fell back so this is going to be the next ceiling if you will that is going to be the next price target. So we're looking at just under 70 cents, probably 68 cents. And right now, Ripple is in the process of, of, of trying to consolidate a little bit. Now, if I if I bring the charts in, let me see if I can so give you an idea of kind of where it has been. Now, Ripple has been as high as over $3, and that was not even a year ago. Okay, so this, this has been a steady decline and opportunity here, but I think there's going to see some life because what is going on in the news and kind of what's, what's happening going forward so as we take a look and we will hold on just a second as we take a look okay so again i told you a brief inside of what ripple was or xrp if you are now that's the digital asset that has been that is held most by ripple and ripple this is this is the biggest piece so earlier today there is a this is an article that came out Talk about beating down cryptocurrency, XRP surges 80% in 24 hours, nearly triples in value one on, on a week, and actually in a couple of days. <laughs> it really wasn't even a week. Fundamentally, this is what's going on. One of the most worst performing cryptocurrencies this year is making a comeback. XRP rose more than 80% Friday to a high of 77 cents, bringing its gains this week to 185%, according to the data from CoinMarketCap. Its market capitalization jumped to roughly 26.8 billion, surpassing Ethereum as the world's second most valuable cryptocurrency behind Bitcoin. Often mistakenly called Ripple, XRP has fared the worst of the top cryptocurrencies this year. At one point this summer, it was down more than 90% from the high. Okay, so Ripple, the name Ripple, Ripple is a fintech, financial tech company that focuses on global payments and holds a majority of XRP, the cryptocurrency. XRP is a cryptocurrency independent of the company that can be used on Ripple's platforms. The upward move was spurred by rumors of a new product. An executive at Ripple told CNBC this week that the startup was making headway with its XRapid product aimed at helping banks speed up transactions by using the cryptocurrency XRP. I am very confident that in the next month, next one month or so, you will see some good news coming in where we launched the product live in production. Sagar Sarbai said, head of regulatory regulations for Asia Pacific and the Middle East at Ripple, to at Ripple told CNBC Monday. Now, real quick, what I want to talk about, and I, I mentioned this before, but I, I need, I think it's important that I drill home this. What is very important, especially for those of us in the West, is that cryptocurrency is really being pushed in the East. It was really a, it was really started there it was a initialized there so while a number of times that America and the western western uh, countries are at the forefront of pushing technology here is an opportunity where that was not the case it is really more of the eastern uh, eastern countries and east, eastern companies that have been pushing that and so as you see now it's certainly western individuals have been involved in participating but it's the East that is pushing that, as you can see right here. Uh, this gentleman is from Pacific and the Middle East, at the Asia Pacific and the Middle East. And that's the bulk of where you see cryptocurrency pushing. So Ripple describes this XRapid product as using XRP as a bridge between currencies, which executives say allows payment providers and banks to process faster cross-border transactions. This is key. This paragraph right here. That is where the game is going to be won or lost that is where you're going to get your opportunities for these cryptocurrencies again because ripple everybody's aiming to be the go-to cryptocurrency 
that's going to be able to allow faster transaction payments and as well as even law, allow transaction payments to occur in places such as Africa, such as China, such as India, uh, such as Venezuela, and even in America, obviously. But we are we have the infrastructure. You know, we already have banks. We have very easy ways to transfer money. But worldwide, that is that is an issue. That is a problem. And that's what the cryptocurrencies are looking to solve. That's what Ripple is basically throwing this hat into the ring. Joe DePascal, CEO of cryptocurrency hedge fund of hedge funds, Bitbull Capital, pointed to X Rapid News as a positive for the cryptocurrency's price recovery. People are definitely buying the news, he said. This is another case of Ripple showing its dominance in real world relationships with financial companies and yet another spike in XRP's price because of it. The company has struck deals with various high profile financial institutions, including Santander and American Express. But those partnerships have so far been mostly focused on another product called X Current. Ripple Sarbai said that the more than 120 banks are currently partnered with Ripple using the blockchain based product X Current. Firms testing the product include money transfer giants Western Union and MoneyGram and payment upstarts Mercury FX via Americas and Culix. Ripple's X Current is used by banks to settle international transactions and is used to confirm each stage of a cross border payment in real time, according to the company. This week, U.S. banking giant PNC announced it would be using Ripple's blockchain technology for cross-border transactions like wire transfers, but it won't be using the cryptocurrency XRP. Despite the partnerships, XRP has a long way to recover to this year's highs above 360 in January. It's still down 66% from the beginning of the year. And that, fam, is a positive because that means there's no rush to jump in and don't go chasing prices. Relax, do your work, do your due diligence. Find out about the cryptocurrency, then you can start to put your money to work. Now, currently right now, if we look at the chart, like I said, Ripple is currently trading at about, was about 59 cents. So it's it's trying to move here. Like I said, it's been consolidating between 50 and 59. I'm looking forward to move higher personally. This, this blue line right here is the 200 day moving average. And as you see, it, it got past that yesterday. And it's held past that today. So it'll be interesting to see how, how that is able to act as an important floor. And I think that it will be. And I think this is just the beginning. So we're going to have some opportunities here to make some money, if you will, and be able to do it, do it so judiciously and be not panic, not hype, but getting, getting involved and finding out, dotting your I's and crossing your T's. All right, fam? Next question I want to ask you, question of the day. What currency do you think is going to be the next one to move the market forward? Is it going to be Ripple continue to move? Is it going to be ADA, Cardano? I'm going to continue my altcoin series and talking about either one of those two coming up or be another one. So stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. Cop your coins.